Hey guys, it's Jeremy from Team Shift, and today we're going to talk about that mythical beast called Battery Life. Um, so basically, how does a battery work, proper ways to take care of battery, uh, and just how to get the most out of your battery. So we're going to start with um, how a battery works. It's got these um, things called charge cycles, and they can tell us the health of a battery. And Apple actually has a little bit of an article on it, and it gives us an idea of how long these batteries should last. Um, so the computers that everyone in the school has, they run on a thousand charge cycles. Uh, way back when, 300 was kind of the norm. But basically a charge cycle are all these different um, percentages adding up to 100%. So if my battery is fully charged and then it dies 50% and I plug it in and charge it uh, up to 100%, the missing 50%, uh, that is not a charge cycle. These charge cycles are basically just all these fractions adding up to 100% creating one cycle. You can actually see uh, how many charge cycles your computer has by clicking the app on the top left, hold down the little option button, say system information, power, and you can see the uh, health of your battery condition, which is normal usually, and charge cycles. So I've only used about 307. With uh, this computer rated 1000, I've got some time to go. Um, the more you use your computer, the quicker you can go through charge cycles, however it does still take a decent amount of time. So don't worry about plugging it in or letting it fully die. Really you just want to use a battery. Using a battery is the best way uh, to get the best life out of it. If you leave it plugged in all the time, it's kind of like lying in bed for a month. It's going to be really hard to walk afterwards. First we're going to go ahead and take a look at what I have going on right now. So right now I have uh, Google Chrome open. Uh, text expander and it's saying on a full charge of about five hours and 55 minutes if I keep doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Now I'm not. I'm going to move around. I'm going to click other apps and things like that. Uh, through the magic fast forwarding here I'm going to open up every single uh, tab that I have called out the T-Day maneuver and application and we're going to just let that uh, we're going to just fast forward through that loading. Um, so I have over 33 tabs open in Google Chrome I have messages open, Safari, um, I have screen sharing into two different computers, basically every application. And I've dropped my battery down to about 4 hours and 25 minutes uh, because of all the extra work that's actually doing. Now it's still a pretty good time, uh, but that's staying exactly like this. I start to move, I start to click around, and all of a sudden that battery is going to drain even more quickly. Now we're going to quit everything and I'm going to kind of go back to normal use and we'll see what that battery jumps back up to. Okay, so now I'm at 5 hours and 29 minutes. So pretty good. Jump back up significantly. Um, still going to recalculate and move around depending on other things I'm doing. You know, I like to think of this battery time remaining as a really rough estimate because the more stuff you start to do, uh, the quicker it goes down. So just staying like this, not moving anything, but just having these four tabs open, I'm going to get 5 hours and 29 minutes. But start and do other things like uh, get a message or respond to an email, uses up a little bit different power, and that'll start to go down maybe a minute or two. And as always, turning off your computer is always a good move. Uh, leaving on for extended period of time can cause some kind of weird data. Just shut it down every so often for at least like 10 seconds maybe. Any questions as always, you can email us at tech at sch.org. Everyone have a great day.